Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be discussing the N1 Technology RVMC-LCM Upgrade Kit which supports models LCM 1 through 4. This control board solution will enable operators, customers to continue to use their original Dumec changer and pulse validator while still allowing credit cards through MDB on the controller. So let's take a look at the board real fast. <clears throat> um, so you'll notice we have two headers on the board. One is for the bill of validator connection and the other is for your MicroMac changer. Um, if you have those, you can continue to use those older legacy payment devices with the N1 board, or you can go all MDB, or you can actually mix and match. You can have a little bit of both. You can have a dumb mech changer and an MDB validator, or you can have a pulse validator and an MDB changer. It doesn't matter at all. Whatever payment devices you have will, will be just fine. So let's take a look at the board. The board is typically mounted in this fashion here keypad is facing down and I'll start right there. Um, so you have your keypad connection the cable will plug directly into the board to support your factory keypad. To the left of that is a micro SD memory card slot that's for firmware upgrades for saving configurations or um, actually you can change the welcome message on the display to um, a text of your choosing. You have a limitation of 16 characters on each line and then you can modify um, with notepad on a computer, save the file, and then copy it back to the board. We'll do another video that shows you how to do that. Um, so anyway, coming up the left side of the board, we have J9 drop sensor connection. And then we have a two-part motor harness connection, which is 19 pins. That's this entire connector right here is 19 pins. There's a key in the middle. That'll match your factory harness in your machine. There's a door switch provision on the board, although LCMs don't use door switches. We do provide an optional door switch in our kit that you can connect to the machine so you can have a door switch if you choose to. But I'm going to explain a better way to handle the reason for a door switch in a few minutes. Um, so you have your door switch and above at the top you have a three pin power. You can see it's a three pin power connection incoming power to the board from your machine. There's a DEX provision for a DEX cable which is actually um, attached to the, the cover plate on the board. Um, to the right of DEX you have MDB. Um, then there's an executive mech header that's not used in this country. And then at the bottom you have your display connector. Um, let's take a look at the display here real quick. <clears throat> so the display is an OLED display. Um, it's a very high quality display. It fits perfectly in all LCM models. Um, the additional green wire is just a ground strap. It's just a, a, a ground signal. Um, and this will, will fit directly into the opening of your machine. We do include some new standoffs. Um, so if you want to mount your board with some new standoffs, we include those in the kit as well. And also we do include an MDB extension cable. It's 11 1706. It gives you a little extra reach um, for your changer, validator, um, card reader, whatever use you feel you need it for. Um, there's a service mode um, decal that goes on the cover plate that shows you all the service mode keys. And let's talk real quick about this door switch. Um, really the only reason a door switch is needed is because if somebody is servicing the machine and the door is open and they pull a tray out, and if they pull a tray out and the board just so happens to do a periodic motor scan at that time, um, the tray is serviced, the machine is filled, the tray is, the door is closed, and you come back the next week or the next day and you find that that whole tray is completely full of product, nothing sold. So what happened was, is while the machine was being serviced and the tray was pulled out, the board did a scan and pulled it out of the motor matrix. So that tray is effectively gone now. 
And so to prevent that problem, um, the door switch is included in the kit. It's basically a reed switch, a magnetic switch, and it, and it will mount to the door into the cabinet. So as soon as the door is open, it will trigger the controller and let the, let the uh, control board know that the machine should be in service mode now. That'll prevent the board from doing a periodic motor scan. However, the door switch is a part that could easily get jostled or knocked off the machine itself and then somebody might not notice and you'll come back and you'll find your machine, maybe one tray will have product in there. So the best way to prevent this problem is simply after you configure your machine, you're going to configure the motors first and then you're going to go and set prices and the last thing you can do is go into options, go all the way to the bottom of the options menu, you'll see advanced options. Hit H as your enter and you'll see advanced options. Go down through the service mode two times and you'll see um, an item called MOT scan. That means motor scan and it's going to be set for on. What you're going to do is hit the H key to turn motor scan off. That's it. That's all you have to do. The machine will never um, lose a tray or um, you'll never have a problem with the machine again. If you just go into advanced options and set motor scan for off after you configure the motors. That's very important. You must configure the motors first, then go into advanced options, turn motor scan off. I think that just about covers it. Um, we do have guaranteed vent sensors available for uh, the LCM upgrade kit. Uh, that would be part number 383114, which would be our new rugged sensors, or we still have some of our original sensors, which is part number 383070, which would be our older LCM 0065 sensor kit.